Hey everyone, Dave here with Affordable Door and Gate. Ah, I got a good one. I had to find a quiet space, you know, when you got a house full of kids and a wife at the beep, 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 and technology. Anyways, Casey came up with a good question and I kind of need your guys' help to comment below if you wouldn't mind helping this fine gentleman out. So Casey was asking, what do you, what, you know, and this rabbit hole can go kind of deep, right? What do you guys charge for a garage door opener install? I think maybe he's leaning towards a customer's opener. And I'm going to talk about that. And what you, what you charge for your, like if you were to provide the opener, I'm going to talk about that. And then the distance where they live. Hmm. You know, when I was first starting out, <laughs> Oh man, I still, ooh, I still get the shakes thinking about it because all the stuff I did wrong, I did a lot of stuff wrong. Anyways, so first tip, let's talk about a customer's providing the opener. What my experience has been, my opinion. I don't like doing it. I, I, I think I, I can gravitate towards a door when the customer provides a garage door but when it comes to the opener i don't know why why the cookie crumbles this way but i have so many more problems take for example i had a technician good technician not very far away probably uh, 15 minutes away from the shop customer wants to provide the opener they have the opener he goes out there he installs the opener I remember the opener doesn't work. Now, a couple things come up. Excuse me. Did he not install it right? Or did he mess something up? Did he drop it? Did he not know what he was doing? You know, because maybe this is a totally different opener than what he's normally used to doing, right? I remember it seemed like it was a Chamberlain product. Lady bought it from a, you know, Lowe's or Home Depot or whatever. It's a box store. And I remember, so now, well, the worst part is, right, when it comes to these a garage door opener, especially if the customer provides it, you have to take it apart and try to fit it back into the box. You ever do that like on Christmas, you know, when you just rip something open and you try to put it back in the box and your mom says, you know, don't rip the box because in case we have to return it and you destroy the thing and you know how it is with men. It's like, it's impossible to get it back in the box. So it's just like, there you go. Here. So now you're obligated, right? In a sense. Now you got to take the unit back down. It's not like you're going to just change the head unit, right? If you provided it, if you provided it, normally, not always, you're going to have maybe another head unit rail back at the shop. So now you got to put it back down in this package, right? Now you got to knock on the door. The customer's going to look at you. They're going to think you're a complete idiot because you don't know what you're doing. They're going to give you bad reviews on Google. That could happen. I don't think that happened with this one. So now it turns into you have to hand the, the opener back. You have to reschedule a visit. It's just, and these are just things I want you to understand. Not that you can't do it. I mean, I have done it and made a little bit of money and I just trying to explain some of this. So now that you got to reschedule a visit, right? Now, now the fun part, do you, now you guys comment below. I want to hear you guys' opinion. Do you recharge, right? And that's hard because if it's not you, right? If you're a one man band in a, in a, in a trunk, a trunk slammer, I shouldn't call you a trunk slammer because it's not a trunk slammer, but you're just a one man band. You know, you got to make another service call back, right? And, and what I'm, what I'm trying to say is if it's a technician, it's, it's a lot harder because if it's you as a, the owner and sole proprietor, you know what you did, right? And you're like, it wasn't me. It was the product's fault. But if it's a technician, right, that's a gray area. That's a gray area, you know, cause you don't know if your tech maybe didn't know what they're doing. They, did they slam the rail or the trolley into the opener head or something, something crazy. So now you almost have to, you know, you're not making money. You got to come back for a second visit. Just things you got to consider. Now. If it was our opener, 
I would have technically, you run back to the shop, plus you know, if it's a technician, you know that he knows how to install them. He's installed hundreds of them, right? And now he just runs back to the shop. He grabs another one, right? It's on him. He goes back, he installs it, and you're done. All right, let's get to the price, right? So what? when I used to work for Lowe's, I think we got paid like $76 per opener. And we went way too far. I am talking like an hour to an hour and a half one way. And we did it. We had subs. Um, but the problem was what we ran into, what I noticed, is like they'd give you really chintzy angle, flat angle. So we'd have to provide our own angle. Well, that adds up. That's $10, $15, $20 out of your profit. So that became a problem. Now what we do, I think think we're right around it's almost like 120 160 area if we were to let's say do a customer's opener that they have the distance right off the bat i mean to me it's like a 20 mile radius that's what lowe's kind of did anything out of that they charge extra for i would set up a perimeter of 20 miles and i wouldn't go any farther Set up whatever your time is worth. See, the thing is, is the levels are so different, right? It's like in life, your your finances are all different, right? So what's your time worth? You know, if you got absolutely nothing to do, hey, making 40, 60, 80 bucks is good money. You know what I mean? Because you got nothing to do. But when you got jobs that are paying you $200 an hour, let's say, are you going to really want to go do something that's going to pay you $40 an hour? See what I'm saying? But... You just have to make that determination. You know, a lot of times you can get feelings by the customer. By the time you try to shoot them, say, you know, hey, I'm going to charge you $200, yada, yada. Oh, well, somebody else said they would do it for $150. Okay, now if you start hearing that three, four, or five times, all right, well, you maybe got to lower your price a little bit. Um, but the distance, that was a big thing. You know, um, luckily for us in our community, town, we are very dense, so that's very good for us because we don't have to travel that far. You live in remote areas, it's more wear and tear, it's more tires, it's more traveling into town. Um, so you have to determine what it's worth to you, you know, and don't don't shortchange yourself because more likely what the one thing I always consider too is there's always callbacks. You know, everything you touch has liability. You know, the door starts making noise, you know, even if the spring breaks, right? They're still gonna call you and say, hey, that opener you installed screwed up. And you're gonna go back two months later and go, well, your spring broke, that's why. You know what I mean? And don't forget to put stickers on. So Casey, I hope that kind of answers it for you. There's really no set, you know? I've done it too in the market. It just depends, you know, if, it, if we're slow, prices can go down a little bit or you can take on those jobs i mean when the, the cough syndrome was going around i mean we would take darn near anything you know um and that's the beautiful thing about competition and the free market because um i've always told everybody you know it's like hey when we're slammed it's like when we do residential uh prices need to adjust to that you know what i mean and just like we have emergency service calls you have to pay. That's a convenience, right? We all know that. You go into a gas station, that's a convenience. You want an airplane ticket today, that's a convenience. Book it out for two months. It's cheaper. Do you know what I mean? But you want it today, you got to pay the convenience fee, which is it's going to be more. So anyways, Casey, I really appreciate that um, question. I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night or whatever it is. And we'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Over and out.